Hello, dear listeners. I'm glad to see you here today. And today we are going to talk about the next channel, stomach channel. This webinar is based on the works of a very team specialist and reflexologist Sergey Kasintsev, one of the authors of Veda Pulse Acupuncture Extension. My name is Anastasia and I am manager of technical support in the Veda Pulse team. I'm glad to see you today. Please feel free to ask any questions if you have some, and Sergey Kasintsev will provide you with answers a bit later. So today our topic is the stomach channel. We're going to discuss its main characteristics, projection area and functional use, as well as power points of the stomach channel and methods of passing of this channel. In Chinese, the stomach channel sounds uh, like Zu Yan Min Dei Zin. Let's take it to pieces. The first part, Zu, means that it is connected to feet, to our legs. It is located uh, at our legs. Yan Min means the level of energy according to the scheme of six harmonies, which is called Liu He. Wei means the stomach itself in Chinese, and Zin means a particular energy flow in uh, the system. So it can be translated as the channel and the meridian. Um, by the way, you can see here um, two letters. Um, the first is uh, like E, and it is from the French nomenclature from the French word estoma, which means stomach. And you see uh, the second abbreviation, ST. It is also used uh, to define the stomach channel. And uh, it is from the English stomach. So it also can be used for indication of this channel. The stomach channel is the third in the big circle of energy circulation. And it's interesting that this is one of the biggest and the longest channels. It takes start at our head, then it goes down in two branches. The first branch goes near the orbit of the eye, and then follows uh, the line of the pupil to the area of lips. Then, in the area of our lips, it uh, continues to go to the angle of our mandible. And if we are talking about the second branch, that we should mention it starts from the angle of our hair growth, Um, but uh, actually you should pay attention to this fact because some men they can have like receding hairline and in this case you shouldn't use hair as an indication for the start. In this case you should uh, imagine the projection of hair if they are there. Then this branch goes down to the angle of mandible and uh, uh, in the area of our neck it goes in the projection of nodding muscle. This nodding muscle is all, often called also uh, sternocleide mastoid muscle. Then it continues and in the area of uh, supracravicular fossa it moves uh, to the center of our clavicle. 
and then it goes along our chest along the middle cl clavicular line then it passes by the nipple and uh, uh, at the level of the first intercostal space so below the nipple it draws near the middle line of the abdomen and then it goes uh, much closer to the middle line of our body and it goes down uh, to the inguinal crease. It passes the crease, then it moves to the lower limb and then um, at the area of our hip it goes in the projection of uh, femoral bone. And it is directed uh, to the external surface of our patella. Then it goes down. It goes through. It goes through patella. And then it goes in the projection of our tibia along its external border. And in the area of a shin you can find a small branch um, in the direction of external side. And then uh, the channel goes down uh, to the center, to the middle of the ankle. And from here it goes to the second toy and stops uh, at the nail of this toy from external part. So you can see it's a really long channel. And there are 45 points on this channel. So we can say that no doubt it's one of the most uh, saturated um, with the biological active points. Now, by the way, all channels that are connected to our feet, to our legs, uh, they are quite long. You'll see it later in our future webinars. Talking about level of energy, we should mention that uh, it is connected to the Yan Min energy axis. And it unites channels of uh, large intestine and the stomach channel. And probably you remember from our previous webinars that it is uh, the last border of protection our which, the last border which protects our body from the external pathological energy and please pay attention for example when patient has a cold it's not a rare case that this patient also has some uh, digestive disorders and you can see these two channels the channel of large intestine and stomach channel we work together in pair here in this scheme of six harmonies so due to this reason some cold symptoms can be connected to the changes of stool to the pains in this area to some disorders of intestine and if you have such a picture in cold, then it means that uh, the level of inner energy is very low. And it means that external pathogenic energy was the factor which brought this imbalance to the system. So anyway, it should tell you that uh, here are some deep energy destruction. In this case. In Ayurvedic conception it is connected to Kapha dosha. Also uh, the spleen channel is connected to Kapha dosha. And these two channels they are responsible for our biological fluids, for fluids of our body. And uh, you should uh, see that uh, fluids it is what is strongly connected to Kapha. 
In Chinese tradition, we say that here comes Yang energy, and Yang energy is always connected to the earth element. So, in China tradition, earth element is connected to everything which nourishes, which protects uh, all manifestation in the world. And the stomach is the basic, the main organ which gives new nourishment, nutrition to each cell of our body. And as a result, biological active points of this channel, they are very powerful. And they really can influence our energy. So uh, they are really common to use and they can strengthen any acupuncture recipe. On the screen you can see main characteristic of a stomach channel. And the first characteristic is a digestion. It is uh, similar to the Western medicine. But also here we should say about uh, absorption of the energy. And this absorption takes place on all levels, on material level, on energy level, and on the level of high nervous activities. So you can see that uh, in Chinese tradition, our stomach is responsible for absorption of the thin energy. So even our emotional activities um, and it is also can be described and uh, can be understood through the concept of stomach channel. Because if something is wrong here, then we can analyze it and we can understand that uh, something is wrong with the system of our stomach so that it does not cope with its functions of uh, digestion and absorption of energy. By the way, uh, there is one interesting fact. Um, you can use it also, and it's like uh, our experts, Sergei Kassin's uh, personal life hack. So uh, then some uh, learning and academic performance takes place for example, when you're working with students or some other guys who need to prepare to test or exams, so you can use biological active points of the stomach channel. And uh, this channel uh, will be uh, really good in helping to improve functions of learning and academic performance uh, because here takes place the connection, the absorption of uh, energy, absorption of uh, knowledge, of material, and so on. As we mentioned, this channel belongs to our legs. And you should remember that the main direction how our foot goes, uh, it is downwards. So uh, the stomach channel also works with the synergy in the same way and uh, it uh, directs the energy downwards also. If you have got patients with such symptoms as belching, nausea, vomiting, then uh, the backflow of energy takes place here. It means that energy cannot go in the right direction. And here, this function of sending C downwards is very good. You can use it in cases with uh, hypertension. You can use it in cases uh, when your patient has cough with expectoration of sputum, for example. Uh, by the way, practically all discharges from the upper holes in our body 
um, discharge from nose, mouth, our eyes, um, any discharges in this area, uh, it will be an indication to use biological active points of this system. And sure, biological points of this system can influence not only a digestive but also breathing and cardiovascular system. So, to sum up, we can say that you can use uh, this channel and biological points of this channel to treat uh, practically any nosology, practically any disorder. Because this function of absorption energy from our food and function of sending C downwards, um, the, these functions are very essential for acupuncture recipes. Also, please pay attention to the local biological points. It means that if you've got some pathological process in the area of your head and neck, then uh, you are recommended to use biological active points of the head and uh, of the neck on the channel of the stomach. You can use biological active points of the stomach channel to treat disorders and disruptions of vision, any disorders connected to the nose, to the throat, as well as uh, endocrine imbalance, and even problems with uh, cervical spine can be treated with using biological active points of the stomach channel. We mentioned that one branch of this channel is located uh, in the area of our head. That's why if you've got a temporal and unilateral headache, it's an indication for you uh, to use biological active points of the stomach channel because they are symptoms of disorder in the stomach channel. Also, don't forget to use biological active points according to USIN system. They are located uh, at your legs and an algetic point of the stomach channel. This channel opens through mouth. You can see it on your screen. And what does it mean? Mm, it means that uh, the condition of our mouth is tightly connected to this channel and the condition of the mouth, its uh, symmetry, its activity, uh, including our speaking activity, all these factors, they depend on the stomach channel. Mirror of this channel is the complexion and our lips. To be more particular, this channel belongs to the upper lip and uh, you can pay attention to the line of the lips closure if you'd like to analyze it. Uh, it should be like a wave, it shouldn't be direct line. Because if you see a direct line of our lips closure, then it says about uh, some expressed inner tension about suppression of our stress activity. The taste which is connected to the system is sweet taste. It's very bright taste and it's easy to recognize it. But don't forget that to get more energy or you should use uh, natural sweets because in traditional Chinese medicine uh, not uh, only the sweet itself is important but also the level of energy 
in the particular food. How much the energy does this product contain? And if we are talking about sugar, just ordinary sugar, then uh, there is not so much of the energy. In this case, it's better to use uh, more natural sugar, such as cane sugar, for example. It has a bit more the energy. But anyway, natural sweets, they are better from a Chinese medicine's point of view. Uh, by the way, there are a lot of different types of sugar in China. But here, in Russia and uh, in Europe, um, it's uh, not the same. And here, when we are talking about phytotherapy, then the most popular product with a sweet taste uh, will be licorice. It is really sweet. And uh, you should know that a lot of different medicines which uh, are used in uh, bronchopulmonary disorders, they contain licorice. And we use it for better sputum discharge. But also in traditional Chinese medicine, it influences the spleen. And also it can influence the stomach because these two elements, they are combined in the earth element. And licorice can detox and it can penetrate uh, all channels according to traditional Chinese medicine. So even if you are not sure about a particular location of disorder, you can add a little bit of licorice to your fighter combination and it will be a natural way just to support the inner organ with a disorder because your body, your organism will direct this treatment to a particular place there it is necessary. But pay attention to the volume. You shouldn't use too much of licorice. It's a powerful thing and just a small pinch of licorice will be enough. So you can use a small pinch of licorice uh, regularly. And the body will find ways of bringing energy from this taste to the necessary zones by itself. Okay, I can see a question. Dear Susan, hello, nice to see you. Could we see the image of meridians again, please? Yes, yeah, sure. We had this one, it was the first, like most common view. And then here, we had this a bit more detailed. Is it just what you wanted to see, Susan? Okay, I see. Fine, let's continue. So, we were talking about the characteristic of this channel. And they start at uh, emotional conditions. Emotions are thinking and meditation. And it's quite common for the earth element. Oh, by the way, uh, there are a special scheme in ancient materials, in ancient papers. And uh, here, here in this ancient scheme, our elements are located not according to the circle of Usin, uh, which we usually use, like here, like on this slide. But uh, in this ancient scheme, uh, they look like a rhombus. 
and in the center of the rhombus uh, there is the earth element so it corresponds to the center of everything and uh, in ancient China it used to be associated to the emperor the main function of emperor to take care about uh, to take care of citizens welfare so in the same manner our earth element is responsible for the centering of everything and for the core, core idea of the whole system if we are talking about the color then it will be light yellow modern authors also mention light brown color talking about the earth element and here we can also remember the fact that only members of the emperor's family used to be allowed to wear yellow color in ancient China and for those who who decided to break this rule was a very strict punishment it was death naturally but let's go back to our modern ideas and um, let's say a few words about emotional sphere the concept of will is strongly connected to this element and it is responsible for the will of a man so uh, the better the more powerful will the man has uh, the better he can work sure and you can find uh, the reflection of these uh, inequalities on the face pay attention to the lips and to the upper lips don't forget that here should be a balance between the upper and the lower lip and uh, Sergei Kasintsev says that it, he has never met the case where the upper lip would be less in size than lower lip so uh, it's a very interesting fact and uh, when we are talking about a norm in a norm uh, lips should have uh, the same size from the traditional Chinese views and it would say us about uh, the balance of our will qualities uh, and the balance uh, between our will and uh, um, those qualities uh, that are connected to the pleasure and it's very important because if our upper lip uh, is drawn in and lower lip is uh, of a bigger size when we should say that this person needs more pleasures in the life but uh, cannot get it cannot feel it for example such person can think that it's not a good time for us to relax to enjoy some pleasure moments in our life now we should work harder or for example we should um, graduate from university or something like that but uh, you understand that it's important for each person uh, to be able to get pleasure just every day from what he is doing it's very important to enjoy uh, the matter uh, in which you are involved in talking about centering uh, we are again coming to the emperor and as well as 
the emperor gets all the necessary information in the same manner the stomach channel works and uh, the feeling of our inner core and self-centering they are also connected to our stomach channel if uh, the stomach channel is okay then person can easily get new knowledge can analyze information easily so you can see that the stomach channel is a very important channel in this scheme all our inner energy systems chakras or for example there are also so-called Dantian energy centers they are the biggest energy centers in Chinese tradition and Dantian can be translated as fields of uh, elixir from Chinese so all our inner energy centers they are located uh, along the central line and they can accumulate energy very well probably you can meet people who want to uh, share food and to feed uh, everybody who is around and in this case we should say about uh, the access in this energy system um, because this uh, idea to share with uh, everybody with what you have it's also one of manifestation of the uh, excess of energy in the stomach channel and normally such people mm, they have a really powerful wheel and so they uh, start to mm, impose their opinion to everybody who's around Mm. and here we should pay attention to it because the border is uh, very thin here uh, you should not try to bring even positive things uh, through the aggression um, and without uh, others will so pay attention to these uh, psychological facts it also can be connected to the excess of energy in the stomach channel talking about uh, the main biological active points of the channel we are coming to our traditional table you can see it on your screen now there are uh, the main points and they are located on the lower extremities and they are divided according to the scheme of five elements and there are also specific points on the channel and some specific points uh, that belong to other channels let's talk about it if we are talking about points of uh, five element we should mention that biological active points starting from the point number 45 and up to or down to point number 41 so all biological points coming from 41 42 43 44 45 plus biological active point number 36 they belong to the biological active points of five elements point number 45 it is metal element 44 it is water 43 and 42 belong to the wood element 43 has a function has a function of wood and uh, point number 42 it is yuan point additional point and it is responsible for getting inherited energy from the resources that our 
kidney have? Point number 41, it is fire point. And point number 36, it is point of the earth element. And now, please, I would like to ask you to brush up your knowledge a little bit. Try to remember which of five biological active points in the system are the main. Do you remember? We usually say that the main points among these five points are so-called point element in the element as well as tonifying and sedative points. Do you remember which point is the point called element in the element? Any ideas? You can just train a little bit, try to remember uh, why do we call some point the element in the element point. If we are saying element in the element, it means that energy of this point coincides with the energy of the channel that we are working with now. And if our today's channel belongs to the Earth category, to the Earth element, then in this case, which point will be element in the element point? Earth, exactly. In this particular case, it will be point uh, which is called E36. Talking about functions of the element in the element point, we should say that it reflects all the energy of the channel because it is in harmony with the, channel, with the stomach condition and with the whole energy in the channel of the stomach. That's why you can use such point as a diagnostic point. A bit later, you'll see on our uh, slides uh, where exactly it is located and how to influence it. But remember, when you are making diagnosis, you should try to feel such points. And if there are any painful feelings, something uncomfortable for a patient, or even an impulse along the course of a channel, or not along the course, but uh, against the course of a channel, it says us about blockage of energy. And it is always, it is always the same way. So, work with these biological active points, they are very uh, representative for us. For example, just to check your ideas, you can use also biological active point E34. It is an algetic biological active point, and you can use it uh, as the second point in your diagnosis after the point element in the element. And to remember which point is responsible for which function, you need to understand the Usin idea, idea of five elements. Look, if we've got a tonic point, and this point belongs to the category which we call mother, it means that this element stands ahead of the next one 
and uh, the element of a stomach is earth let's open the screen with our circle it will be better I suppose so uh, we've got um, the stomach element earth element which stands before it it is red on the scheme and uh, it is fire so correspondingly the tonifying point belongs to the fire element and uh, in our system it will be point number 41 E41 it is also one of the main points as well as point uh, E45 E45 symbolizes the metal element and according to Usin system the metal element belongs to the uh, uh, it works with the off element uh, as a sun to the mother so the earth gives birth to the metal element and you can imagine then uh, a woman gives birth to a child to a baby she feels a lack of forces a lack of energy because mother gives a part of her energy to the baby that's why the logical active points of a metal element here they will be sedative for this particular system so the point E45 will be sedative for this system if you need to increase the energy when you are working with this channel you can use the point uh, E41 it is tonifying, tonic point use point E45 to relax to dispel energy it's not the only rule that you can use making recipes and making prescription in reflexology but um, it is most common and Surya Kasintsev says also that uh, sometimes these points can be used uh, in another ways and there will be another prescriptions with these points for another purposes uh, he has also a series of webinars on this topic and if you are interested please let us know and we can organize some webinar about more advanced reflexology uh, prescriptions let's go back to our points the next is low point it is point number 40 of the stomach channel and uh, such points they redistribute energy to the paired uh, meridian you remember that meridians are paired according to yin yang idea and for the stomach channel his pair will be the spleen channel so our energy it is redistributed from the point E40 to the Yuan point RP3 RP and uh, when we are going to discuss um, the spleen channel next week we'll say uh, about it also in more detail but if you are interested about it right now you can open your Veda Pulse acupuncture extension and find it there and now we are going to start with a shoe and more points
shoe point belong to the meridian of urinary bladder and uh, anatomically it is located on the back. Mo point is located uh, in the area of our chest or our abdomen. Mo point of the stomach channel it is point number 12. Uh, along the middle anterior meridian and it is located halfway between the navel and the base of xiphoid process. Pay attention, uh, not the edge, not the edge of this process but uh, its base. Mm, I mean the place where it is connected to the sternum. So you need to find this transition and then find the halfway between it and between navel to find point number 12. This point combines all in of this meridian and it is responsible for energy accumulation, for digestion, and also for redistribution of nourishment uh, and uh, redistribution of energy to particular organs and systems. It is one of the very powerful points uh, which can be used in uh, digestion prescription. It's very good uh, for people who are weak and sickly and it helps to improve absorption of uh, nutrition. Shoe point is located in the rear surface of our body in paravertebral area between the transverse processes. Exactly it is located between the transverse processes of the 12th and the first thoracic vertebrae. It's easy to find it. To find it uh, you need to touch uh, your ribs and find the last rib and just uh, under the last rib where will be the point. It will be in one and a half tsun from the last trip. To measure you need to take your index and middle fingers and just to put it at this area and it will be the measurement equal to the tsun and a half. So if you are going to influence more and shop and shoe points, you should know that you are influencing in and yang energy in this way. And you are influencing the stomach channel and the whole digestion in the body. Even our breathing and cardiovascular system depend on the digestion process because all main function connected to the quality of uh, energy which is coming to our body they are connected to this process and if the stomach has a dysfunction then there will be not enough energy to provide all functions of our body and even our immunity or urinary system they can suffer in this case So, uh, thank you. It was the, the first part of our today's webinar and uh, after five minutes we'll be back and we'll continue to discuss particular biological active points and effects of a stomach channel. See you in five minutes. Thank you.
Now we are going to talk about next points, points of five elements. And we'll start with a final point, and then we'll go up along the lower limb, along the lower extremity. And now uh, we are going to talk about point uh, number 45. E45 or ST45, uh, there are two different nomenclatures in our uh, acupuncture module in the VEDAPULSE device, so you can use this or that. This point, number 45, it is located on the second toy at the root of the nail from its external surface. All Final points, they are points of fast reaction. They are even called sometimes uh, emergency points. Please influence these points carefully. Be careful because they are um, very powerful. And, for example, if we are talking exactly about the point of the stomach channel, then it can bring a very serious effect, such as a strong clearance of our body and of the digestive system. If you had a meal recently, then it can be some unpleasant things. And if you had a meal, for example, more than three hours before the procedure, then such influencing can be a reason of, um, of a stool or something like that. So pay attention, this point, as all final points of meridians, are very powerful. If we are talking about other systems, then we should mention that if our nutrition is imbalanced, the metabolic products will stay in our body. They uh, will not be involved uh, in the um, metabolic circle and the energy circulation and uh, we will have different effects depending on the place of their localization. So, metabolic products stay in our body in different places of our body and uh, due to the localization there will be particular effect. For example, if they are in our breathing system, then it can be something like discharge of phlegm, cough, uh, if you are influencing uh, this uh, final point of the stomach channel, if you are influencing final points of meridians. If such metabolic products stay in the kidney, then uh, there can be an urination due to it. If such products stay in our uh, genital system, then uh, women, women can have menstrual uh, irregularity. For example, uh, menstruation can start earlier. Or a patient can have uh, a profuse discharge it will be also a result of powerful cleansing of the body. This point belongs to the metal element. Point uh, number 44, you can see it also on the screen, is located uh, in the second uh, gap between toys. And to find it, uh, you need to press uh, one bone to another along the line of the second toy. Point 
point number 43 is located on the food just uh, after the gap between toys and in this place uh, the bone comes to the head of, of its bone so it's a place of transition it's easy to feel this point and uh, if a person is slim then it is even visible so it is the point in the place of transition of a bone to its head the next point is located uh, on foot on the line of a second toy you should imagine a line along the middle of a second toy the bone will stop will finish and uh, where will be uh, bones of a smaller size in this place you will find the point number 42 but please pay attention there is an artery that's why it's uh, a good to influence this point uh, in all cases connected to the um, disorders of um, blood circulation in uh, low extremities even if you touch if you press this point easily you will feel a pulsation so this point reacts uh, well on laser therapy on light therapy and others but don't use needles or even if you are using massage techniques be careful better not to use it because the artery is located really close to bones and uh, you can get an injury there is a risk of injury of swelling or bruise so if there is some injury it is it will be painful for a long time the next point is point number 41 and it is located in the following way to find it uh, you should imagine that uh, your foot is like uh, your hand <laughs> and you should imagine the back surface of your hand if you bend it you will see a crease a fold uh, it is common for hands but uh, it's rare for feet but you can use this idea to search for the point it is located uh, also on the line of a second toy in the center of a foot between external and internal malolos for example you can measure the distance between ankles and imagine a line along the second toy just a little bit lower than the level of ankles where will be point number 41 it is located between uh, tenders so it's easy to feel it here on the screen you can see uh, red lines they're here for tendons and they come to your toys so in the fossa between uh, the first toy and ours you can touch it and find for example if you put your foot up and your toys up it will be even easier to find it point number 40 is located uh, 
midway on the shin and to find it your patient should see it it's the most uh, comfortable way to find this point you need to find uh, the middle of a distance between point number 41 and lower edge of patella when sitting it is located in the projection of a fibula a bit closer um, to the outwards a bit outwards and it's easy to find it um, because the crest of tibia is uh, really palpable and this point is located midway this distance so find the crest of tibia and then use two tunes from it the width of your index and middle finger two tunes width of your index middle and ring fingers three fingers so using this measurement idea you will find the place of projection of fibula and correspondingly this point is responsible for congestions not only in the stomach but in the all energy and physiological systems of organs so if there are some problems connected to phlegm hypertension and especially if your patient uh, has an overweight this point will be really good to use in the prescription now we are coming to the next interesting point point E36 it is located in the upper part of the shin free tune lower than the lower edge of patella when sitting to find it please use uh, the width of your four fingers from index to a small finger in the area of uh, their second joints and it will be free soon so find uh, first of all tibia and then moves on and just uh, a site where will be point E36 if you touch it it will be uh, rough so from the center of this roughness and uh, laterally outwards there is uh, this point E36 it is the main um, nutrition point for the of element and also there is such an idea that earth element is the second mother of the body the first mother of the body is water element so for us water is connected to kidney but here we are talking about the stomach channel young energy and earth element so it is the second mother of the body E36 point of air filament is important for the stomach channel because it is uh, the point which is called element in the element and it is epicentrum of all our mm, nutrition it influences all metabolism in the body We already mentioned uh, about ties of the stomach channel to the spleen channel. So, in details, low point E40 gives energy to the point RP40 
free from the spleen channel. And the stomach gets the energy from the low point RP4 through the yuan point E42. It is yuan point of the channel, and the yuan point of the channel is always responsible for strengthening, for improving of other points' effect, especially two points, tonic and sedative. Here on the screen, uh, there are ties according to Ayurvedic concept, and the stomach channel is connected to Kapha dosha as well as the spleen channel. Also, they are connected to the triple heater and pericardium channels as the opposite on this circle. Then we are talking about pulse diagnosis. We should mention that um, points of the stomach channel are the most powerful for our gallbladder and for its function and for our bile secretion. If uh, there is a disorder of bile secretion, uh, you should pay attention to the stomach channel functioning. It should be included in your work because they are connected and um, lower function of um, gallbladder is one of the most common reasons of low acidity in the stomach and as well as our body feels lack of um, hydrochloric acid and uh, it is a reason of disorders of our stomach, disorders in our stomach. That's why pay attention to the condition of gallbladder also. Please uh, watch if uh, there are any bands of gallbladder or parasites. Parasites. Mm, all these factors they can influence um, and can be reason of malfunction of gallbladder. So as a result, they can influence the condition of the stomach. Here are projection zones of this system. Don't forget that painful syndrome and changes of tissues uh, can, can be in these projections if uh, they are connected to the stomach channel. There are blue lines and blue zones on your screen. You can see uh, there are projection area near the mandible. And also there is an ascending branch to the angle of hair growth. Don't forget about uh, the nodding muscle that we mentioned. It's important muscle because it shows uh, the condition of the stomach and organs of digestion. If you touch it and if you press it and uh, feel some uncomfortable moments, it says about some spasm in digestive system and in this case you're recommended to use a light massage 
it will be very positive for your digestion. But also, please be careful because there is a carotid sinus on the left side and it's quite close. Uh, so very active massage uh, can lead to some um, disorders of heart rate uh, and some palpitations. That's why we are saying just slight massage in this area. Painful syndromes uh, on the anterior surface of your body, especially you can see on the screen uh, in the clavicular area and in the direction to the inguinal area, all these moments are connected to the stomach channel. So if there are any seals, any ceilings here or acne, maybe spider vines, all these symptoms show uh, the pathology of this system. If you are looking at the picture with the back of a man, we should say that on the back there are particular zones near the second and the third intercostal spaces. Uh, and uh, they start at the level of lower shoulder. And uh, on the right, uh, it is responsible uh, for the stomach. On the left, it is also where it is also responsible for the stomach. But uh, these zones on the left side, they are smaller and uh, they are located only near the spine or, so the right side here is more important for us but anyway uh, any feeling of itching or any changes in the projection of external course of this channel um, as well as changes of the second toys joint they are symptoms of uh, energy disorders in the stomach channel. Here you can see ideas of Western medicine and uh, Western medicine tells us the same about uh, the projection area as Chinese medicine here for the stomach channel. For the stomach channel, uh, the most important zone of projection will be in the uh, shoulder area. The second and the third intercostal space, it starts from the lower angle of shoulders. of scapulas from xiphoid process and uh, it lasts till the midway of a distance to navel. Uh, we were talking today about more point, so that's it. And it is re responsible for our digestion system. Projection zones on the face are connected mostly to our lips and especially upper lip. And you can see sometimes people have uh, such lines near the upper lip like here. Something like wrinkles maybe. Here on the screen they are. If you've got such a patient then it means that uh, he's he probably has some stomach disorders such as ulcer so it's one of the signs for you
to ask and to pay attention to it. Also, there are reflex zones in the temporal area, a bit upper of uh, our eyebrows level, which is marked also on the picture. There is a uh, reflex zones for men on the right and uh, reflex zones for women on the left. So any changes uh, in the color of skin, any acne, maybe even small wrinkles. So all these moments in these areas are signs of disorders of our digestion and the stomach channel. Now we are coming to our practical part. And here is a practical launch of a small circle of energy circulation. Before starting walking uh, exactly with the stomach channel, you are recommended to do this practical launch of a small circle of energy circulation. If you are doing it, uh, don't forget about days of activity of a channel because in such days you'll get a better result, a more stronger response. Stronger response. So initially work with a point EG free and then continue your clipping of a posterior middle meridian to the area of your hips. And from the hips, you should go to the head. Then through the head, you are going to the upper lip. And only after that, uh, you should walk with the points of uh, anterior middle meridian through the point P7. And make clapping of this meridian coming from the area uh, in the below part of your stomach, uh, along the middle line of your body, uh, up to the lower lip. And after that, start walking with the stomach channel. Please walk with a channel uh, in this way. You should start downwards and then you should, oh, sorry, you should uh, start in the upper part and then you should go downwards. Correspondingly, you should start from the area of the orbit of your eye. Mm, be careful with this area. Do your clapping slightly with your fingers and then you should go down to the level of your lips and from your lips you should go to the angle of your mandible. Massage this angle with your fingers. Then after it uh, find the angle of hair growth. If you cannot find it uh, you should uh, compress jaws and you will feel the muscle because temporal muscle uh, contracts and it will be easy for you to feel. So find the edge and from this zone start a slight clapping downwards to the angle of uh, lower jaw of mandible. And then again massage the angle of mandible. Then please continue along the neck area in the projection of nodding muscle. Go down to the clavicle. Clap the center of your clavicular area. And then start clapping along the middle uh, clavicular line 
in the direction of a nipple. Mm, women are recommended to be uh, very careful with this breast area. Then pass by the nipple and come to the middle line to start clipping the abdomen area to the inguinal fold which is close uh, to the middle line and watch that your fingers tips of your fingers should stay at the uh, middle line of your body so use your fingers not uh, palms here to be more straight to have a more direct effect And so put your hand down in this way. Then please go to the area of your hip and make clapping the projection of tibia in the direction along the side or external surface in the direction of patella. Then come to the shin and make clapping at the external surface of the bone. So um, you can stop a little bit uh, at the middle of the shin and then walk uh, with the movements aside, like if you are making it a, a bit outwards. Because three points here are ah, located as a zigzag. Uh, you can see E40, point E40 is located aside and it's very important point if there is any congestion uh, you can stop here uh, at one of the main points and walk with it a bit longer and then from the point E40 please continue and move to the center of the feet of the foot and uh, along the center of the foot you should make clipping up to the second toy and stop at the final point uh, number 45 which is located uh, from the external on the external surface of the second toy and you can massage it easily like massage it like if you'd like to pull away uh, everything negative and everything unnecessary like pulling it uh, away and then please continue the same action on the second part of your body if necessary you can repeat this prescription but for the first time it's enough to do it once So don't forget about uh, the month uh, of the stomach channel activity. It's April and according to Chinese tradition it lasts up to the 6th of May in European tradition. So in this time you're working with a stomach channel will be even more effective. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being with us. If you have any questions, feel free to ask um, us, to ask Sergei Kasintsev, and we'll be happy to answer your question. I hope you liked it. Please, if you liked it, you can write a review on our website. Thank you very much, and see you next week. Bye.